three members of a white supremacist group were sentenced for stabbing a man to death at the United States Penitentiary in Beaumont, Texas. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. This is your first time on the channel and you want to hear more prison stories, keep up with what's going on in the world of corrections across America, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So guys, here we are again out on the property trying to get this video knocked out. Just wanted to bring you guys some of the latest in the prison world. And uh, I've actually got the article pulled up here in my split screen. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Beaumont, man. Whenever I was in, they called it Bloody Beaumont, the United States Penitentiary in Beaumont, Texas. Uh, back in the days when I was in the feds from 2007, I think I hit the compound. I was in the county before that, but Hit the compound in seven, got out in 14, so I did actual seven on the yard. And the whole time I was in, that's all you heard about was Big Sandy or Beaumont. And they called it Bloody Beaumont just because of all the stuff that was happening. I have heard recently that it's uh, one down in Louisiana. is supposed to be the worst now, uh, Pollock. But I can't, I can't confirm or deny that. But either way, so I've got this pulled up. And I'm just going to go ahead and read this off. It's not that long so you guys know what's going on. But I wanted to give you that backstory that Beaumont is a, a very, very bad place to be, very dangerous place to be, apparently. So the headline is white supremacist sentence for role in murder of fellow federal prison inmate. And it goes like this. A 40 year old federal inmate has been sentenced for his role in the murder of a fellow prisoner in the Eastern District of Texas. Michael Jason Shelton of Hennigar, Alabama, pleaded guilty. Now, this was last year, but I'm guessing this article was updated because it's recent. Um, he pleaded guilty to an accessory after the fact. He was sentenced to 180 months for that. Okay, so the other two individuals that were involved, because it was three of them who stabbed this man. Um, Ricky Fackrell, he was 36, he was from Utah. And Christopher Kramer, who was 38 from Ogden, Utah. This other guy was from Vernal, Utah. They were both sentenced to death after they were convicted by a jury of first-degree murder. And it was after a six-week trial. So, according to the information presented on March 2014, Kramer and Fackrell, inmates of the United States Penitentiary in Beaumont, murdered fellow inmate Leo Johns. On June 9, 2014, Kramer and Fackrell stabbed Leo Johns to death at the federal prison. Shelton pleaded guilty to being an accessory to the murder. All three inmates were members of the white supremacist group Soldiers of the Aryan Culture. And it was investigated by the FBI. So, um, listen, if you don't know, you hadn't been watching me for a while, this is your first time over here, it goes down in these penitentiaries and a lot of these mediums in the federal prison. Everything is race in there where you eat where you sleep where you do your rec time It's all divided by race man, and it's very dangerous these guys get in these groups and they have to Uphold a certain amount of violence. You know what I mean? And uh, a lot of these white dudes they feel like they're outnumbered in prison which because they are uh if I had to guess, I'd say the most people in federal prison are probably going to be Hispanic. And then the second group would be African Americans and the whites are the minority in there. So I guess they start feeling like they have to make statements and stuff. And so they'll carry out these crimes like this and then there'll be retaliation, you know. Um, the D.C. blacks might try to hit those boys back or whatever. Not that I'm saying that that guy was from D.C. or anything, but that's just how it goes. Everything's racial in federal prison. But I just wanted to bring you guys that. That is the latest in the, the world of prison. It's kind of what I do on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Until next time.